Hey humans, and welcome back to another episode of Read With Me, Mr. D. I'm your host, Mr. D, but you can call me Mr. D. Halloween is right around the corner, and I've picked out a fantastic Halloween book for you this week. But before we get into it, I want to dedicate this week's episode to the great state of North Carolina. North Carolina is located in the southern region of the continental United States. The capital of North Carolina is Wailiga, but we pronounce it Raleigh. Believe it or not, North Carolina is the birthplace to Pepsi Cola and is also where the first ever Bojangles restaurant was located. Now your cardiologist probably doesn't want me telling you this, but personally, I'm obsessed with Bojangles. I could really go for a Bowberry biscuit or seven. The North Carolina state bird is the cardinal, and the North Carolina flower is the flowering dogwood. All of the license plate of North Carolina drivers read first in flight, and that's because the first ever control-powered flight took place at Kill Devil Hills near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina by the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright. I've been known to spend a little time in North Carolina, and I'm going to be in Charlotte real soon. I'll report back for that. And maybe I'll see some of these great North Carolina teachers. This week's episode is dedicated to Miss Elliott's first grade classroom at Creedmoor Elementary for the Arts in Creedmoor, North Carolina. Miss Lefevre's kindergarten class at Boger Elementary in Kannapolis, North Carolina. And a friend of mine, Mr. Stumpf's third grade class at Stony Creek Elementary in Charlotte, North Carolina. The book I picked out for you today is a little bit creepy and a little bit scary, but not too much, so don't worry, you won't wet your pants. It's none other than Creepy Carrots, with words by Aaron Reynolds and pictures by Peter Brown. Let's get into it, shall we? Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Crack and Hopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school, he yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister tunk, tunk, tunk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, when he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush from the floor, and went to bed. Quickly, the next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Phew! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived at home that evening... Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots on the shed! Mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots. Not even the regular kind. There's no such thing as creepy carrots. Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing. Terrible, carroty breathing. And there, on his wall, oh, creepy carrots, he shouted. Dad, dad, dad. His dad thumped into the bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now, go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew that his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him. 
if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Sunday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. I love that book and I hope you do too. I hope you all have the bestest, safest, most fantastic Halloween ever. And until next time, we'll see you on another episode of Mr. D Reads. Have a great week, everyone.